the big Minecraft treasure beacon hunt is starting soon. Do you want to know how it works? I'm Tippi Blether and I'll show you everything you need to know about this exciting challenge. So listen up beacon hunters, pay attention. This is what it's all about, the time shards. Hunt for these beauties in the 20 treasure beacon locations. The shards are pure magic. They give you points and they add time to your clock. And that is super important because you only have three hours on your timer when you start. If you run out of time, that's it. Finito, game over. So the more shards you get, the longer you can play. And that means more points and more points mean a higher score and the highest score wins. ka -ching! You can play solo or as a team for a whole month, starting from Saturday 29th of April at 4 p.m. BST. This is the start camp where everybody starts. Here we have some animals you can ride if you want to. And there is some useful equipment in these chests and in those chests. And here you can check out the rules just in case. The official start will be staggered, so have a lemonade in the pub, mingle, have some fun, get ready. But whatever you do, don't leave the camp early, because I'll send my goats after you. Ah! Oh, also, the race bot starts your clock the minute you cross the start line, so not a good idea. If you start later, you can just go whenever you're ready. Look, this is your countdown clock, and this is your compass. It turns up in your inventory when you cross the start line. Use it like this to find the beacons for each stage of the hunt. Lime particles mean easy beacons, magenta ones mean medium ones, and black ones, can you guess it? Yes, that's right, hard level. And the compass needle points you to the next checkpoint. You have to go through all four checkpoints. This is one of the 20 beacons you can find. There are five stages to the hunt, and each stage has four beacons. All beacons are totally different, and you don't have to do all of them. If you don't like the look of one, just skip it and go to another one. And I don't like the look of this one. This is too scary for me. I'll try an easy one. This is a safe area. Most beacons have one, so you can set your spawn here. And there are some chests for your stuff too. But please note, storage is at your own risk and the management accepts no responsibility for any loss or damage. Ah, oh, and instructions. Yes, now I know what I have to do. One more thing. Beacon locations are protected with World Guard because we need what some of you are like. You can't break or place blocks in these areas and the challenges are designed so you don't have to. Don't even think about it. Yes, you. You know who I mean. Mm -hmm. And this, my friends, is what you are looking for at the beacon locations. Time shots. Oh, yes. Each shard is worth one minute and one point. And at some locations you have several loot chests or even barrels. The more difficult or time consuming a task is, the more loot you will get. But here's the trick. The loot is personalized, so each player can only loot each chest once. Now this is really important. Shards give you points and time. The points are added instantly to your score the minute you take the shards out of the treasure chest. But to add the time, you need to take the shards to the next checkpoint. This is a checkpoint. There are four checkpoints in total and you have to go to all of them. Your clock pauses when you come in here, so phew, take a rest. And now pop your time shards in here and whoopee, more time. And your compass automatically updates to the next stage of the hunt in here. After checkpoint four, you go to the finish, but I won't show you the finish because that would spoil the surprise. You get 50 bonus points if you reach the end. And on top of that, every spare minute on your clock gives you another point. When you reach the finish, your time stops. So relax and put all your remaining shards into the deposit box because otherwise that time won't be counted. Then go to the finish area and give yourself a huge pat on the back because you are officially awesome. A quick note on tactics. You want to get as many points as possible, so speedrunning the race might not give you the best results. You really do want to do the beacons. I'm super excited about this challenge. Watch, support and join the event. And for more information, check out the Discord link below in the description. And I'll see you on Saturday. Bye!